Hi everyone, this is a video on the acid base disorders. For us to understand the acid base disorders, we need to review the relationship between pH and bicarbonate, as well as the relationship between pH and PCO2 levels. pH and bicarbonate are directly proportional. This means that bicarbonate levels, when the uh, when bicarbonate levels increase, pH also increases or when bicarbonate levels decrease, pH also decreases. PCO2 and pH, on the other hand, are inversely proportional. This means that an increase in the PCO2 level decreases the pH, or a decrease in PCO2 increases pH. Next, let us define some terms. Let us define acidosis and alkalosis. When you say acidosis, this is a blood pH less than the reference range, or a blood pH of less than 7.35. When we say alkalosis, this is a blood pH of greater than the reference range, or a blood pH greater than 7.45. Sometimes, uh, some literature use acidemia and alkalemia for these two terms. Let us also define metabolic and respiratory. When we say metabolic, the acid-base disorder is caused by changes in the bicarbonate levels. When we say respiratory, the acid-base disorder would be caused by changes in the PCO2 levels. Now we are ready to talk about the various acid basis orders. We will try to explain these acid basis orders using this diagram. So let us put some labels. We will put respiratory here, then metabolic here. And this would be for acidosis, and this would be for alkalosis. So each quadrant of this square would describe an, uh, a type of acid basis order. We'll further divide each quadrant into two. The upper part of this quadrant will be for the cause of each acid basis order. The lower part would be for the compensation. So let us first describe the cause for each type of acid basis order. Let's go to the top left quadrant wherein you have respiratory acidosis. This is acidosis, so the pH is decreased. This is respiratory, so the cause would be a shift in the carbon dioxide level. Now, for the pH to decrease, or for the pH to become acidotic, CO2 has to increase. Remember, pH and CO2 are inversely proportional. Next, respiratory alkalosis. This is alkalosis, so the pH is increased. This is respiratory, so the, the shift in the pH would be due to a shift in your carbon dioxide level. For the pH to increase or for the pH to become alkalotic, the CO2 level has to decrease. Again, remember, pH and PCO2 are inversely proportional. Let's go to metabolic acidosis. Metabolic acidosis would be a decrease in pH. This is metabolic so the decrease in pH would be due to a shift in bicarbonate levels. Now for the pH to decrease, the bicarbonate should decrease. Remember, bicarbonate and pH are directly proportional. And let's go to metabolic alkalosis. In metabolic alkalosis, you have an increased pH due to a shift in the bicarbonate level. For the pH to increase, bicarbonate has to 
increase. Remember, pH and bicarbonate are directly proportional. So now you have the various causes of each type of disorder. Let us now go to the compensation. Now the principle of compensation is that if there is a shift in bicarbonate or in PCO2, it would be the other parameter which would try to compensate for the condition. So like for example, in respiratory acidosis, since the cause would be CO2, what would compensate should be bicarbonate. This is acidosis, so the pH is decreased. What we want to happen is to increase the pH back to normal. So for this to happen, bicarbonate should increase. Let's go to respiratory alkalosis. The cause here is carbon dioxide. So what would compensate would be bicarbonate. Now this is alkalosis. The pH is increased. What should we do to bicarbonate to decrease the pH back to normal? Of course, we should decrease the bicarbonate. So that is how respiratory alkalosis is compensated, by decreasing bicarbonate levels. Let's go to metabolic acidosis. So the cause here would be a shift in bicarbonate. So what would compensate would be CO2. Now, this is acidosis. So the pH is decreased. If you want to increase the pH back to normal, what we want to do is to decrease the CO2 levels. Remember, CO2 and pH are inversely proportional. Let's go to metabolic alkalosis. The cause here would be bicarbonate. So what would compensate would be CO2. This is alkalosis, so the pH is increased. What you want to happen is to decrease the pH back to normal. So for that to happen, we have to increase carbon dioxide. Remember, CO2 and pH are inversely proportional. So that's it for acid basis orders. If you think this video is help helpful, uh, like this video or leave a comment below or subscribe to this channel. Thank you.